All right, so I'm gonna talk about what it was like to be a spy in the CIA. So <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, they go, well, "What was it like to be a spy in the CIA?" And every time somebody asks me that, I go, "How do you know I was in the CIA?" And then I usually shoot them. But now I'm telling you guys about it. So when I was in the CIA, okay, and we call ourselves agents, okay, you say Deputy Agent 27, okay, we have numbers as names. Uh, we don't have normal names, because if you have a normal name, then your cover is going to be blown. There's only two things that exist in the CIA, okay? Your number name and your fake name, okay? And your old name is referred to as your dead name, so it's actually kind of an overlap with the transgender community, okay? That's a little secret for you. Actually, and that's that brings up the next topic, okay? And this is a CIA secret. The CIA actually invented transgender people, okay? You may not believe it, you may not want to believe it, but it's true, okay? And it's it's not the kind of thing that we, uh, uh, the CIA would publicize, uh, make public because it's it's too it's controversial, it's too edgy, but it's, it's really, it was an, it was an, an, it was, it was done through psychological manipulations, through the media, and through foods. And we did it, why did we, we did it to lower the human population because quite frankly, they can't give birth, and they're, they're not going to have kids, and it makes people less likely to have kids just seeing them. So, no, but no offense. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's a, na it's a way of nature that is, is, it's a complicated force. But back to the CIA and the CIA's force, uh, the CIA, uh, controls everything, Okay. They control Apple. They control the military. I shouldn't even be saying this. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me for spilling all the secrets. But we control everything, okay? If, you, if you're if you doing anything, there's a good chance that we, uh, you know, you're doing it because we want to do too. There's no variable that is out of our control. Take, for example, when you if you went to a restaurant today... You know, that was based on something that we predetermined was beneficial to us years ago. You got to consider this, okay? If there are, if humanity and society have existed for like thousands of years, you, you, you'd think, oh, there's a lot of, I learned a lot of lessons while I'm alive. I wonder if somebody would pass down those lessons from generation to generation for like a hundred generations. That's what the CIA has. We have all the information and it's a central, it's people say it's the central, it's the central intelligence agency for Christ's sake. That means it has the most intelligence. Anything, any valuable information is CIA first. And we don't, we don't mess around with the information. We go straight from, uh, straight to the, uh, straight straight fact we don't we don't met we don't mess it up with like sales pitches everything everything that our agents get told we take as just viable we don't second guess it we don't go oh i guess i'll look into that no if, if the cia up higher ups tell us to look into something we go oh okay and then we we just go we do it and we we if we're given, quote, advice through the CIA doctrine and teachings, we don't second guess it. We go straight into it because our lives are at stake. And so we have to trust something. And the CIA is the thing we trust because time after time, it proves to be the thing to do. It proves to be fruitful and beneficial for us. Um, and these are so we get information that just the public, if they if they were to hear it, their minds would explode the CIA is the greatest group of of helpful people on earth. They they want to help you and they want to control you. And the reason why they want to control you is because have you ever seen a toddler uh, try to ride a bike and the first couple of times they fell and then they put training wheels on and then they can actually ride a bike? That is how the CIA views the the mass public at large. The, the way technology advances, the way events take place, it's it's one, it's clear that the vast majority of people would be unable to handle the circumstances that we find ourselves in. So the CIA, what we do at the CIA, 
is we, we make it manageable for people by withholding information and making it simplistic. If people knew that the earth was flat, if people knew that aliens were real, if people knew that aliens have tried to attack and that there's missiles pointed at us, if people knew that there wasn't an afterlife, if people knew that we we sell, we, we engage in uh, things, like we engage in kidnapping to continue to like do sacrifices that are off the record for the continuation of power then people would really have a hard time with it so we really we protect the people the cia we protect the people by withholding information the best thing about being in the cia is that you have access to all the information so any of the information that you th- that you were like curious about you can get a direct answer if you've seen the show to uh, American Dad, it's actually very similar to that. Because the I think his name is Stan on American Dad, and he's actually in the CIA, and that's pretty much what all, <clears throat> that's pretty much what our lives are like. Um, American Dad, by the way, that's a very it's a realistic show. Show it. I mean, it's obviously a joke in a lot of ways, but also it's very realistic in just the way it, what it's like to have a family while you're in the CIA. It's also a good show if you want to teach your family about values because an American dad, the uh, the family is conservatively run. And this is really how healthy and wise people in society live. We try to discourage it. The CIA, we try to discourage that as a, on the overall, but, but it's, um, when it does happen and it happens moderately, uh, we, we try to, we look we look at that we look for that in our own lives um but we don't we don't want people to do it too much cuz they'd get too powerful so anyway that was my spiel on life in the CIA thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe comment 5 times what are you going to comment 5 times you're going to comment the number 1 and then you'll make a separate comment you'll go 2 and then 3 and 4 and 5 and then you're going to share this video with 5 people um, so that they learn about the CIA and what it's like, and then you're gonna you're gonna post it on three subreddits, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna when they ask for announcements at church or business meeting or at the dinner table, you're gonna go. Oh, I saw the most excellent video where somebody described his experience in the CIA, and then you're you're gonna you're gonna make sure that you're gonna watch them subscribe. You're gonna you're gonna set up. You're gonna print out flyers for um, Eat Bagels YouTube channel, and you're gonna put flyers up, and you're gonna go, oh, subscribe, and then you're gonna you're gonna also uh, give out free Celsiuses and say, oh, you get a free Celsius if you subscribe, and you're also you're gonna you're just gonna do this, and then what's gonna happen is a lot of money is gonna get made, and it's gonna help society at large. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, good, uh, goodbye.